most council areas that do allow pets don't allow dogs on the restricted breed list. And I think that may be the problem she has. I think she's confusing it slightly. She does mention it's a staffy. I couldn't imagine life without that dog. That dog has got me through some hard times. So you turn down the house. So if you were this woman, you turn would, turn down the house. I would turn. The, I would turn down the house. If I said to my kids, we've had Bandit out for four years. If I told them we had to get rid of him for some reason, they would be devastated. To me, family comes first. Whatever home, everybody gets together, and the dog comes later down the road. If they've had it for five years, if they can't rehome us. To be honest with you, if you love it that much, get it shot, get it stuffed, and get the taxidermy and get it melted. <laughs> have it in your front, have it in your front window. I say, look at that on the man garden. You could have run around. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. It's it's a real hot choice here, isn't it? She's stuck between a rock and a hard place. You know, if she loves her dog, I think we, we've got three dogs. Couldn't see us doing or having the choice that she'd have. Oh my God, it's really awful. What would you do? Well. <laughs> I don't know, I think I probably wouldn't take the house. I don't think the neighbours would take too kindly to it. So she's fir- friction caused already within the estate with her neighbours and with her children inside there to play with other children with that dog in the first place. Albert Newsflash, your dog is not one of your kids. Yeah. <laughs> not one of your kids. Well, I, know, I understand different, that. But can I just point out, it's like a different one of your species. Kids. 